does that work, Sam? No, I always look like the scarecrow from the Wizard of Oz pointing to like this person right here. It's yeah, it's not, you never know. <laughs> I never know, like if you're in my upper left hand corner and like Jaleesa's in my upper right hand corner, is that the case for like everybody or what? No, and it will move, no. it will move based on who talks most oh, recently. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, I am certainly not the star of the show today. Um, guys, we are fortunate enough to have a gentleman named Sam Jackson on the call. Sam, I know a number of people know you, but if, um, if I can put you on the spot and ask you to uh, identify yourself and um, help us understand why we chose you today to come in and give this lesson in like 30 seconds to one minute, then you can uh, prove that you are uh, the appropriate teacher for today. The yeah, you made me feel like I got to pull out my wallet and show my ID. Yeah, I'm Sam Jackson. Um. <laughs> I mean, yes, I'm actually, before we go there, I want to just say one or two things, actually. So don't forget, guys, today in the Roswell office, Andy and Leslie are doing the 36 touch class. That's from 10 to 1. It is a CE class um, if you're there. And today on uh, in this chat, we're going to be doing a, a systems class at 4 o'clock. I'm going to be teaching that. It's, it's open to all the productivity coaching clients at all three market centers. So um, uh, please, if you would like to talk about systems or help start to create them or start to put some some uh, kind of um, energy around like what systems and when they're going to be created and what the priority is and all that kind of stuff, we're going to be talking about that today at four. And um, uh, today is the first day of the month. So uh, if you can just uh, record your score for all of the individual months of August, I have a meeting with Aubrey at 930 and all of my coaches are already on me to know how you guys are doing. So um, please take a moment and uh, let us know how you're doing. Okay, Sam, who are you? Yeah, well, first, I, I love that. Like, we are just an environment of accountability. Like, it's not just <laughs> build a PC coach with all of you. It's 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 our entire uh, atmosphere at KW. We love it. Um, yeah, my name is Sam Jackson. For those of you who have seen me on, you know, the command classes, or uh, if you've been with us for a little while, you may know me. Uh, I'm technically the director of innovation technology for the Georgia Legacy Group. It's just a fancy way of saying that I lead our tech department. Um, so it's uh, myself and Leanza on the team here. And uh, like Bill, I'm a former team leader who's found his stride in the right role. Uh, so I used to run a Keller Williams office before leaving Pittsburgh to join uh, Aubrey at the North Atlanta office and now supporting all the GLG. And, uh, you know, kind of the, the big why and, and the thing that I love about my role in particular is that I'm fighting for my positions called a market center technology trainer in the terms of, of KW. And I want to be able to remove that word technology from my title and have legs to stand on as a market center trainer. I want to be able to bring business ideas to you. I want to be able to have conversations around the MREA, the models and the systems, and kind of sprinkle in the technology whenever it's appropriate. So if there's any of you that hear, okay, here's the tech guy, I want to assure you I'm not going to scare you. We're going to look at ways that we can leverage technology. And today's a really good way, uh, talking about Facebook ads, of like, I've, I've poured into my sphere. I have you know hundreds of people in my database. I'm not getting the leads I need. Let me show you another tool or trick that we can do that's relatively easy to go grow your database. So um, yeah, that's, that's a little bit about me. And um, naturally I have a, a knack for Facebook because I kind of joke that I have more Facebook on the job training than anyone else. I started um, in 2009 out of college running social media for luxury home builder. And that was before Facebook even had like business pages. It's whenever you like illegally signed up as a profile as like company first name, company last name. Um, so back whenever social networking was social networking. Yeah, that's like at my old brokerage, I remember they they actually banned Facebook.com. Like the agents couldn't even log on to that website at, at the office. Right? Oh, I wish I could a, today. A time yeah. waste here, right? <laughs> hey, what, one more thing, Sam, don't be bashful. You also are now a maps coach. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Bill. Uh, yeah, I'm a maps coach and that's, um, you know, kind of a step up from productivity coaching. So a lot of you will go through Bill's program and there'll be a point that you're going to graduate. That doesn't mean that you graduate from coaching. It just means that you get a different type of coach. And, and I'm a specialist in terms of technology, um, but uh, yeah, I'm part of the, the maps division of one of the um, three tech coaches in our company. All right. Yeah. Cool. So let's, let's jump into it. Um, so for today's session, we're going to talk about running a Facebook ad. And if you want to run one with me, please feel free to. Also, don't feel like you have to. There are so many recordings of this session 
uh, out there on my YouTube channel, on the GLG Facebook page, or if you just go to YouTube and search Command Facebook Ads, you're going to see a ton of Market Center tech trainers who have taught these classes or have recorded this content. Um, the flow is going to be the same, but if you want to do it with me, please feel free to. Um, and in today's session, I'm not going to cover the part which is creating a Facebook business page. It's something that you need to have already. Um, so if you're just rocking your, you know, Sam Jackson, or you're not Sam Jackson, I'm Sam Jackson, but if you're rocking your profile, on Facebook, you will need to set up and create a Facebook business page. And that's a good practice as anyways, because like Facebook, they have so many rules. They have so many rules. I'm not just talking about like what you can post for free these days, but um, anytime you start to interact as a business, they want you to act a certain way. And then when you start acting as an advertiser, they have a whole different set of rules. Um, so it's important that you kind of play the game that Facebook wants to put you in. So go through that process. If you don't have a Facebook business page, you can easily go to YouTube and search, create a Facebook business page. And there's a ton of videos that'll walk you through that. It takes like three seconds. It's really not that bad. But if you get stuck, let me know. I'd be more than happy to help you. Or, and Leanne's is great at that as well. Oh, and also, isn't Leanza in Roswell today in person from one to three for any type she of command uh, or tech uh, questions and help you need? She is. She may uh, just make sure, make sure you reach out to her ahead of time. She may be booked. Okay. Y'all look at the tech schedule. She fills up pretty quickly too. The piece um, resources list has the tech schedule for all of September. There's a ton of stuff that's happening. Yeah, uh, including today. Uh, I think at eleven o'clock we're kicking off our tech PC um, sessions again. So got some good stuff going. Where do you find all this? I struggled to, to find it. I went in for the calendar. It wasn't ready the other day, and like to sign up for Leanza, and get I get lost every time. Yeah, she has a, uh, and I have to, I'm blanking on the top of my head. She has a Calendly link, like a booking website. It's, um, I think, calendly.com slash Leanza, but let me double check that. Hey, Greta, on the, on the actual email where it shows her picture, there'll be a little URL hyperlinked to that uh, scheduling calendar. Just click that, and then it'll redirect you to the other website, and then it'll just show you if there's any availability. If it stays gotcha. on her face... That means she's fully booked, which does happen quite often. So I know, yeah. We need her more. Yeah. I'm just putting it out there. <laughs> we need her full time down here. So well, you're talking I, to the right person. Believe me. I would love to hire one more person as soon as I get the permission to do that. I'll I give will. you permission, Sam. Yeah. Thanks, Greta. <laughs> the, That's uh, all I need. I'll talk to you email, Greta. Hilarious. Okay. Cool. Can y'all see my screen? Yes. Excellent, cool. I had a little technical glitch, of course, because I'm the tech guy that happens. Um, so I'm just gonna log in command. So we're just gonna start here and jump right into command. And um, for those of you who are running an ad for the very, very first time, here's what I want you to do. We're just gonna double check and make sure that Facebook's connected first, because this is where it all starts. Um, so don't really pay attention to the, the bulk of my screen here. We're gonna go to uh, our, our name or your name up here in the top right-hand corner, and we're gonna go to settings. So you're going to click on your name and go to settings. And we just want to verify that Facebook is in fact connected. Um, so I'm going to give this a second to load. But once this goes through, I'm going to scroll down. And you'll see that I have two different Facebook connections. I have one for Facebook post scheduling. And then underneath marketing, I have one that is Facebook ads manager. So like I said, Facebook has all these different rules. And this also means that they have different profiles for you technically as well. So when I look at Facebook, they have a, a special profile for me for post scheduling and a special profile for ads manager. And I'm glad that we did this because it appears that I'm actually disconnected at the moment. <laughs> so this is a great, great, uh, great example. I want to come down here to the Facebook ads manager and I want to hit this connect account button. And when I do that, it's going to pull up my Facebook and it's going to show me all of the different pages that I run. And if you run multiple Facebook pages, uh, you can select the ones that you maybe want to advertise with. And I'll just do those for now. What's the Sam um, Jackson go ahead and just pick, awesome you know, Realty Consultant. You know, I, I used to teach a class on how to create a Facebook page. And I ran out of so many different uh, business pages. So I just had to get creative there. <laughs> yep, Sam Not Jackson to be confused awesome. with Sam Jackson is the best. <laughs> oh, so that page is so, a lot. Even, yeah. So I I've had that class a lot, of, a lot of times. <laughs> so I already have a question. Only my, not my business page, but my regular page is connected. So I have the two, but I only have my personal page connected. So you're saying when you hit, 
uh, connects, you're seeing, are you talking about on this screen that I have here? I, I, I'm down at ads manager. And if I go to manage, I just see the one, but it doesn't offer me how to connect more. So then I go to connect more and this set, social account is already connected. It doesn't give me the option. Yeah, I'm, to having, I'm having the same problem. problem. Okay. Same, same. Do, you have, do you have more than one page? Because uh, if you've done this already, it may just be working appropriately. Um, it's because mine we're all. I have a personal, I have a business page and a personal page. And so my personal page is connected. I created my business page later. It is not connected. Okay. Um, so, so you're saying here. underneath uh, on my screen, when you see a Facebook ads manager, um, you're seeing uh, a personal profile here. Yes. I'm seeing Greta Massey. Okay. That's, that's actually yeah. okay. That's totally fine. That's totally normal. There's going to be some nuances in here just because I'm set up as a team um, and I run multiple pages. So um, it, like mine reset, I, I believe you're going to be okay. As long as you have something in green underneath ads manager, you should be okay. Okay. But I don't need to post on my business page. I thought you were saying it was important that we distinguish. between. Yeah. You, so automatically you ads. will. There are some weird nuances in here where like, in the past, normally mine would just say Sam Jackson underneath of here, which I'm guessing is what you're seeing now. Yeah. It's saying Greta Massey, totally normal. Yeah, totally Greta, normal. I have the same thing. Like I'm connected in both my post scheduling and my ads manager, and it says yeah. just my name. Like it doesn't yep. have right. my page name. It That's does. Totally so you should be good. Name. That's good. Yep. yep, you're totally fine. Yep, a lot of weird nuances that that happens with Facebook, but uh, yeah, it should be totally cool. Okay, so as long as you have something in green connected here. Don't stress if it's not your, your, your page. Um, our system will take care of that, uh, but you, should, you shouldn't run any problems when you go to create the ad itself. Okay. Um, so now we're going to run in, we're going to create a campaign. So this is the, the uh, campaign tool inside of command. This is where you have the opportunity to do all kinds of things, but today we're going to focus on just social media. Uh, but we're going to click on the bullhorn or megaphone icon that is campaigns. And again, I have some team language in here for the majority y'all can ignore that. Um, but this is like your dashboard. This is where you can kind of do a, a lot of different like quick posts and things like that. Um, but for today, I'm most interested in clicking this create campaign button up in the top right hand corner. If you do not have a create campaign button in the top right hand corner, there's a good chance that your screen is minimized and, and not enlarged. You may just have a blue plus sign in the bottom right. Either way, you're looking for this like greenish blue color. It's either going to be a create campaign button or if you're like on an iPad, it may just be a blue plus sign. But we're going to click on that. And regardless of what you click, you should see this next screen here. Excuse me, Sam. And I need to switch my personal camera. I'm yes. a little confused. Um, I'm on my laptop on, okay. on a Zoom and I'm trying to do it on my phone. It's not allowed me to open the um, campaign on yes. mobile. <clears throat> so. I'm trying to do both on my laptop and I cannot minimize the Zoom screen. So can you help me real fast? Uh, it's probably, uh, it's gonna be probably best to, if you could log into Zoom from your phone real quick. Okay. And, and then, and then just do the I or do your laptop uh, to follow okay. along. Got it. Yeah, just kind of switch okay. those. Uh, if you just want to take good notes too, that's totally fine. There's a ton of recordings on, on this session today. Okay, well, I'm watching, trying to keep it up. Cool. And we'd be happy to help too. All right, so when you hit the create campaign button, this should take you to the screen here to where you have a choice now. Uh, and for today's session, we're gonna click on social ad page, which is this first little icon here. Uh, but you do have choices, like this tool does have other things like creating Google ads. Uh, social posts is that other Facebook connection. This allows you to kind of schedule posts uh, ahead of time for free, there's no cost. So a good example of this tool right here is that if you wanted to Let's just say you're going away for the weekend and you still want to make a post on Facebook about, you know, happy Labor Day. Um, this tool right here would let you schedule that Labor Day post in advance for, for Monday. Uh, there's also direct mail. We can actually send postcards through command and I love this tool. And then we have email campaigns as well. But for today, we're gonna click on social ad. And before I dig any deeper into this, this is the part where I just want to just remind everybody this gets really, really easy. And the thing that you need to remember is that if you just go in order, top 
to bottom and don't skip any steps, just top to bottom, one to the next, one to the next, one to the next. This is set up in a way in which the flow just makes it where like, you can't miss. So the first thing I need to do is I need to enter a campaign name. Now this is not public facing. So you can literally put whatever you want here. Um, and today, and if you wanna run this ad with me, feel free to, I got permission from this agent. We're going to use a listing as our content. So I'm gonna, I've already pre-picked a listing. We're gonna use that as the base of our content that we're gonna send out today. And the reason for this is we know that people click on listings more than any other type of ad that we have in real estate. Now you could potentially just create an ad that is your headshot or your team headshot, or just talks about how great you are as a Keller Williams agent. Truthfully though, people aren't gonna click on that. I love you and I think you're cool, the general public's not gonna be interested in clicking on your face. You may have the world's best headshot, people aren't gonna click on it. But people will click on houses. People love to look at pictures. Part of the reason why Zillow is so popular, and in fact, they, they kind of um, <laughs> showed their, their true numbers. Zillow actually had more leads last year than there were households in America. <laughs> the reason for that is because people like to click and look at houses. So we're gonna use that same concept with Facebook. So if you have a listing, use that as your Facebook ad. Anytime you get a listing, make sure you run an ad. If you don't have a listing, write down this script or just memorize this one, it's really easy. Hey, top producer in the Keller Williams Realty Consultants Market Center. My name is Sam Jackson, I'm relatively new and I'm looking to grow my database. Would it be cool if I spend my own money to advertise your listing? I'm going to target buyers in the Roswell area and would be cool if I just like spend $50 out of my own pocket and then I'll share the results back with you. I've used that script hundreds of times. I've yet to have an agent tell me no. This is no different than basically sitting a virtual open house, but instead of giving my time, I'm giving my money. Now on that same topic of an open house, Here's the expectations that I want to set with running a Facebook ad. I'm going to promote a listing today via Facebook. I can guarantee you the people that click through my ad are not going to buy this house. It's like a 0.000001% chance that the, the leads I get from this ad are actually going to purchase this home. So don't have the expectation that I have a new listing, I need to go run an ad because it's gonna sell my house, it won't. Just like the couple who walks through your open house is probably not gonna buy that house. The goal here is that we're going to get leads, we're gonna get buyers that we then have a new client, okay? So for me, I'm gonna start with the campaign name. I just like to put in the address that whether I can remember what it is. But if you wanna do this along with me, feel free to. This is uh, 2657 Lenox Road. Northeast. So I have that. And for me, I'm just going to put the agent who gave, gave me permission so that I can remember to reach out to her. And now we have to name or we have to pick our goal. So what is your goal? Now, this is why I love doing Facebook ads inside of command instead of directly on Facebook. If you were to go to Facebook, like if you were to skip this whole command process and you were to go to Facebook and say, hey, Facebook, I have 50 bucks and I wanna spend money to go promote my listing, there's gonna be an option that whenever you go to create the ad, it's gonna say, hey, what is, it, what is it you wanna do, Sam? And instead of having eight choices, there's like 28 choices. There's things like get views, grow traffic, get leads, build my brand, and 99 other things that I have no idea what the heck they are. It's Kevin Williams' partnership with Facebook that we water down the choices in which like, we only use the eight that get us results. I don't need to get traffic to my website. I need to attract listings or um, uh, attract buyers, things like that. We've kind of made it appropriate for real estate agents. Now, of all of the choices that you see here on screen, which choice do you think we need to pick or want to pick? Attract buyers. Oh, Chris, tell me more. That was Melissa. But... Oh, Melissa, <laughs> I'm sorry. Chris Chris popped up as, as white on my screen. I'm sorry about that. Melissa, tell me more. <laughs> Um, well, we were trying, you know, we're kind of like dangling the fish, if you will, like of a house for sale and we're trying.
You lose her.